Hello everyone, this is The Good Captain. Welcome to another video in our, my Let's Play campaign series. And this is West Front, and we are playing Operation Sea Lion. This is Mission 1, Part 2, Into the Fire. So we're going to pick up where we left off, and as much as this fog annoys me, <laughs> I'm not used to it. But it's cool, you know, it's different. I've decided uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to pursue that home guard platoon. Um, the TAM of a village hex in this, in West Front is 0.6, and that's pretty good. And I know that that guy was reduced by 2 SP and disrupted when he vacated this hex. So the first thing I want to do is move here and bait his shot, which shouldn't be too bad. Home guard should be uh, when you're disrupted. A little pause while I pull the rule to show you what I'm about to say, but a little pause. All right, so here's the manual, the, the line I was looking for. Each disrupted unit has its attack factor halved prior to any other modifications. So this is a home guard platoon. This is the its attack factor at range one instead of a six it will be a three and we know he's he's only at a f at best a four sp strength platoon so much weakened that's before any other modification and uh and by that i mean um, it's further reduced for our terrain effects modifier so it should be a pretty safe move but you know of course it's war nothing's safe so we have to take some risk, and this is one of the risks, a manageable risk, that I will take. Okay. Alright. Let's return fire. And he just retreated into the sandling station. Tem here is the same as a village. Okay. Uh, next, we want to deal with this and a little bit about <coughs> enemy units being in workhouse hospital. But this is a leader, and this is a rifle platoon, and these units cannot be ignored. Yeah, they just can't be ignored, so we're going to move this low on ammo unit <coughs> into Etching Hill. And one more space. And then lastly, see if we pull this off right. actually forget how much it is to cross a hedge, but we can see what it is to cross into a field. 40 for a field. Another 42 get into this field. 80 plus, yeah. We should be able to double time. Yeah, and assault. Oh, okay, yeah, and there was no enemy units here. Huh. Great. So again, that's, I just want to see, normally this is 40, so we'd have 60 left, but it took eight, eight action points to jump the hedge on top of the 40 that we spent to go into this. So yeah, we'll assault and eliminate this unit. Check out the strength. It was a full-strength rifle platoon. Okay. It was a full-strength rifle. It was not reduced at all. And that was a commander level 1 uh, for 6 SP. So, yeah, we've inflicted 25 SP worth of damage on the enemy. Actually, more, but we have to account for the 3 points we gave the enemy when we lost our 1 SP. 
that's how that works. Okay, now we're going to continue down the road, and the first thing we want to do is open up the road for our rear units to pass through. So we're going to go here. Then take our most expendable unit, which to me is this uh, low on ammo fellow. Go here, here, and here. And I sure as heck am not going to advance. <laughs> I am not going to take that last hex. Uh, it's open ground. Very likely. Etching Hill had troops in it. It's, it's probable that Beachboro and the mill... Anyway, we'll just assume there's enemy there. We don't have a whole lot of backup just yet, so... Okay. <clears throat> hmm. In fact, <sighs> yeah, the more I look at this, the more I'm thinking, well, let's just move forward a little bit. Yep, we're going to go here. And, yeah, we'll just circumvent this pit the mill for right now. Let's, yeah, let's move you here, here, here. Stacked, but not by a huge amount. We'll move you here. Just pick everybody up. Okay. You know what? Let's get that. Uh This animation speed. Let's get that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. <coughs> yep. Move you out onto the road. Double time. Double time. Double time. Okay, and now you, yes, we will continue our push towards Winter's Gate. Rise in the ground here. Eh. Let's move the mortar up. You. What should we do? Yeah, let's get you on the road. Overstack this hex. in there. Yeah, I think we should have one off the path, so to speak. And the leader will go with the unit that can still shoot in case somebody rolls up on us while we're reverse slope. 
Cycle through. All units have been considered. No fire missions. No air support. Pretty easy. Pretty easy peasy. Um, but before I go on, I'll say, you know, I was reviewing this before I started this video. I was reviewing this 500. So we, we can still capture 300 SP worth of... We can still capture 300 SP worth of objective points to add to the, f to the 50 that we already have here. And that would put us at a minor victory, just barely. That means we'd have to gain 150 SP in uh, enemy casualty victory points to make it to a major. That is pretty substantial. And in this thick fog, I'm looking at this and I'm not confident that I can get a major victory unless there's just empty trucks lined up on the runways when we get there. I'm not I'm not uh, keen on having a pitched battle in the in the fog to try to to try to climb for the major victory to really try to reach up there. I I don't see how it's not going to be just as bad for me if I Anyway, all this to say I'm I'm making peace with myself right now to just settle with this 350 minor victory. I I bought this game in Washington DC in the year 2000. I was on an 8th grade field trip and I saw the add-on for West Front that included this linked campaign game. And I haven't played it since then, so I don't remember anything about this scenario. It might as well be my first time ever laying eyes on it. This is almost like a, a YouTube version of an unboxing of this scenario. So <laughs> I, I'm good at this game, but I'm not, I feel like, you know, you need to be somebody who knew where all the enemy units were to really get the major victory. And I don't. So again, unless and of course I'm saying all this, and I might pull it off, and I don't know how just yet, but it's still the game is still young. We are now officially a third of the way through. We're not doing terribly, but I do just want to prepare my audience, so to speak. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of uh, the execution of this mission. I'm not used to this. Most scenarios are not like this in regards to the view range. Even a 2 hex V range would be a huge difference, but very thick fog, one hit, one visibility. It's a very, very, uh, even night is it has more options than this because there's gun flashes and star shells. This is the most blinding scenario I have ever played. Anyway, enough talking. Let's give the enemy its turn. Oh my... That's coming from... That's gotta be on now. That's gotta be... Typically when it's off map, it kinda comes from the top. I mean, I guess it... I guess it could be on... off map, but that seems odd. Huh. Okay, the enemy have at least two batteries. Four units low on ammo. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so there's a roadblock here, which lends more credence to the probability of there being an enemy unit in the mill. So let's lead off. with the most obvious thing first. Let's go here and here. Continue. Let's go here, here, and you will double time. Just 
stay off the road. And attack Newington. Probably not next turn, but the turn after. So far, so good. Okay. Open, open. 30, 60, 90, 90. It should make it over the edge. Yeah. Go here, here, and here. Open, same thing. Okay. The reason I do that is because the AI will, if you don't tell them exactly where to go, they might send it on the most efficient route, which might be the road network, and then you get shot up going adjacent to the mill in a direction you didn't want to go. Okay. Double time. Again, I am just telling myself over and over again, I'm okay with the minor victory in exchange for what I'm getting for that is not going willy-nilly if I don't get enough points trying to find, just taking risks to try to find enemy units to kill. Yeah. Okay, let's check this guy out. Now first, are we done down here? No, let's move that headquarters. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Oh, that's right, he ran into the... Hmm. What's this? Waterworks. Saltwood. Castle. Well, if we do approach the sanding station, it will need to be through the north, uh, through the woods, military camp. Get a little bit of tem from the woods, and then we're a good spot. This guy's whole responsibility for the rest of the scenario is to not lose this objective. Hmm. Hmm. Do we want to risk going out there or not? Let's move this guy first. No. If we did move out, it would be through this. This is the safest route of advance. However, we don't know what other units might be in the military camp before Sandling Station here. And its main job is to protect. Yeah, so we'll just move back with the camp on it. Okay. Now up here. up elevation, open, 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 up elevation. Up elevation 25, open is 30, 30, 60, 90. Doing the math for it to seeing if a double time will bring us up there. 90, 110, 100, add, what is it, eight for the edge, six for the edge, or something like that. Yeah, we should just barely make it. Watch this. No, I was wrong. <laughs> All right. We'll come back to you then. We might be able to use this uh, road bonus. but Okay, uh, first things first, let's move you here. Okay. Second SP loss and... Three... Oh, is that another rifle platoon? Strength three. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's first let's let's try to shoot back. Yes, that was awesome. Okay, uh, it can still shoot though. 
Uh, so let's take a low on ammo unit. You will do perfectly. Double time and go around. Okay, those are Bren gun carriers. Yeah, this is... Let me pull the, let me pull the unit handbook. A uh, little pause, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. So this is definitely, this is definitely uh, some kind of a scout platoon. But not a strength six. I th oh, it's not a scout platoon. It's, it's got to be, yeah, it's a carrier troop. Okay, this is a, uh, so we'll add it into the comparison. And, and the, um, Bren gun carriers are, I remember them being just terrible, but I don't remember exactly uh, how terrible. So I'll be a little pause and I'll find them and I'll be right back. Okay, we got them up here now, so check it out. This is um, this is not a rifle platoon, it's got a different depiction. This is a carrier 40, so it's the same as a rifle platoon, a uh, rifle 40. Uh, just got less strength points and then the carriers are 2-1 so they're not very as big of a threat but you know it's war so um so i think he shot twice we still gotta bait a shot from this um disrupted rifle platoon but we're pretty much out of options at this point we have to send the engineers up, or the machine gun team. Yeah, send the machine gun team up, and just shoot this guy. Actually, can we? Gonna double time this guy. Yeah, we can't surround. Hmm. Alright, so let's move the engineers up. Shoot the use the awesome the awesome heart attack that whoops, not that. The awesome heart attack that these engineer companies have is eighteen. This guy should just get toasted. It's Bren gun carrier, hard target. Yeah. And now we'll pop this guy with a machine gun. Hoping for a little bit more than that. Hmm. Fatigued. Yeah, that was the best thing to do. He's already fatigued. So this guy leader does help. He's mor this unit took a morale drop when he got hit. So this leader's punched him back up to a, a seven, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. I think we'll just leave the mortar here for now. Yeah, we can't pursue this that carrier platoon any further. Okay, let's uh, cycle. Yeah. Okay, uh, now we give the enemy its turn. No artillery. Oh, he came back. Dang, we didn't undisrupt. Okay. Let's... Yeah, let's just try shooting this guy. Nice hit, nice hit. Again. Okay. Okay. Uh, still, we took another SP loss. That's our second one. Let's keep a very close eye on victory. If I can pull out a major victory, or if it comes close, I'll I'll shoot for it. But again, I don't. Not used to playing this way. I usually always go for the major victory. 
I never think of doing otherwise, but this is such a unique scenario. Okay, this. Hmm. I think, yep, we are going to stack up for one more turn. Yeah, we don't want to attack yet. We'll move here, here. It looks clear. Okay, open woods. So I'm checking again to see if I can make it open for 30. Forest for 65, that's 95. Yeah, we just missed it, so we should be able to double time and do it. Here, here. Let's move two spaces. Do we want to, do we dare risk moving in adjacent to this, uh, we're not going into Shorncliffe camps, but we'll take the risk of, oh, these are both fatigued, Dah, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, we can, we can still take the objective just fine, let's put a machine gun platoon here. Yeah. Yep. The rifle platoon here. And then these guys will come up. Okay. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and double time. Quarters platoon. Take a little pause. <clears throat> All right, back. Uh, yeah, so we'll go north. And a little leery about moving down. I think we'll just go as the crow flies into the objective here. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Trust this this entire map now. <clears throat> now that we ran into some uh, carrier platoon and carrier section, just in a sort of random part of the map, and there's looks like there's a random minefields, just not even on the roads, just anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm hesitant to double time anybody here. You can double time though. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> All units have been considered. Okay, so next turn we will try out our sort of assault on Newington. Okay. Yeah, this is. <clears throat> Fast approaching the halfway mark, and a little, still quite a bit of distance to cover. Three fifty, five hundred. Jeez, that's a that's a hell of a leap from minor to major. So, again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna destroy my forces trying to get the major. I will preserve them for the minor if 
the minor we need. We don't want to settle for a draw. Absolutely not. So give the enemy its turn. No artillery. Undisrupted. Excellent. Okay. Oh, jeez, look at that. <laughs> God. Wow. Um, I th I'm tempted to just go around it. It's double time. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's... Okay. Oh, you're in the engineer platoon, so this guy can just plow straight through it. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, stay a little bit grouped up. Yeah, let's just let's overstack this hex. Let's get over the hedge. Okay. A few more turns will be in in Winter's Gate at long last. Now, the assault on Newington. <sighs> One place we definitely want to go do not want to go is across this bridge. This is open to all but for to both of these locations. really want to go here. I think the best place to move is right here and just eat it, whatever might be there. So we only have one unit that can make it across. Let's see. Headquarters. Fatigued. Huh. Okay, you're fatigued. Yeah, we'll start with you. Really? Which is thirty five. Jumping a hedge would be eight, I think, as well. So I'm actually going to uh, let's get out my calculator. I think a hedge is a fixed thing. You can't. I think you can't reduce it. It's kind of hard to find in the manual. 35 times 0.75. That's if we double time 26. Let's just call it 27. 28, 29, 33, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35. Yeah, we should be able to make it. Should. Oh, he's already disrupted. He's already fatigued. Ah, oh, God. Bless America. Dang. All right. That would have been the best. If there's nobody there... This is the best hex to. Is there really nobody? Damn, dude, you want to wait one turn? You want to wait one more turn? I kind of do. You're low on ammo. Huh. What's the run into the airfield look like? I really want to go sort of through this field here along this this piece of ground, this single stripe of ground that goes all the way into the objective. Just stay off the road. But then again, the minefields are pretty random. They were all kind of out in the fields too. I got my shotgun. Okay, all right, you've got me. I'm going to go across this stream here. Really? It's just every... I look at every village as potentially having a rifle platoon. Um... 
Sure, let's just cross. Yeah, let's get all these up here, and you guys will come here. We'll play yet another turn. Alright. I'll stand put. Stay put, stand fast. All units have been considered. Time check. Yeah, we got a few more turns. <clears throat> Moment of truth here. Overstacked, overstacked. Okay. It's not <laughs> This been a real, real nail biter. Mike, just for you, those of you who don't know, my playstyle is to reduce casualties. I really don't. I'll, I'll take risks to reduce casualties. And if you don't know what I mean by that, stick around. I'll highlight when I'm doing it. <clears throat> Certain activities that are just not. Not not worth doing, but uh, can be kind of risky looking at first glance. Really? Are we going to really? All right, I want to try this out. Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna double time. Ah, okay. Now let's go here. All right. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yep. Oh, fuck. I, oh. Sorry, sorry. Ah, God. Jeez. All right. Yeah, couldn't be. Couldn't be free. Couldn't be easy. All right. Uh, he's shot out. So let's. Let's see if we can do some damage with the with where he is. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now as I recall, there's this gamey little trick you can do in this game. Oh, I don't have enough to. Oh, okay. So there's. Actually, that's okay. We can we can make this work. I think. I think if you assault, you don't get attacked by minefields. That's if, if I recall <coughs> correctly. Let's see. hit on the way out? No. Alright, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, and again, just want to stay away from those village hexes. feeling the impulse to just maintain a very narrow advance even a one hex advance would be one hex advance would be ideal just move one hex yeah. huh double time yeah why not here put you in a much safer position here okay north side <clears throat> yeah another two turns of staging before we launch our assault for sure I think we're gonna super overload one of these hexes. Let's see. Yeah, you two definitely need to move here. I shouldn't do this one at a time, one at a time. And you you will move. Let's get the machine gun up here. You two 
you can just move here. come out to bother me but I think I'm just gonna stay where I am all units have been considered <laughs> still still have just about a hundred SP or a VP away from even getting the minor defeat so yeah let's see what happens give the enemy its turn this is such an odd scenario Good, undisrupted, and now again, I just want to head along the most narrow route of advance and avoid any towns. So, let's lead off with the most least non-mission, or the, the least mission essential unit which is you. Huh. Okay, not very far. It's no good. The hedges are confusing my... Let's see, it's open is 30. Road paved is 25. Yeah, we should be... Okay, we should be able to double time up that. Nope, I was wrong. Huh. Well, all right, I need to start, stop making these little mistakes. Well, okay, we'll get up the elevation, though. Well, I guess I went the wrong way. Whew, I'm not going to lead with a machine gun. Let's double time this guy. I don't want to go lower now. Nope. Just gonna move out. Huh. Yeah. Dang. Alright, let's go here. not going to that X. Oh. No way! What the hell? Why didn't he shoot at us? It's a home guard. Shoot him. Okay. Yeah, we are going to move you here. Double time here. Shoot. Assault value of three. Let's try an assault anyway. Nope. These, these, the reason I'm making these little mistakes here is I'm, I'm just <clears throat> not sure how the hedges relate to movement. You can't dab the F2 key and see anything about a hedge. Oh no, there it is, 25. But it's still, it doesn't affect movement in the same way that a regular open or you know field or whatever. I think it's a mandatory 25. It doesn't, you're not allowed to take 25% uh, percent off if you're double timed. I, I should run some experiments in a scenario, but uh, I always remember it being a little confusing for me. So sorry about that. But it's not a big, not a huge deal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like leaving this headquarters out here by his lonesome. But we're gonna do it. We just gotta take a little risk here. We gotta try to resupply everyone. Okay, now this. Uh, one more turn of staging, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take our low on ammo unit. 
even though he's a headquarters platoon. Do some scouting. Good. And move them into position. Very good. And same has come up two hexes. Here. Come here. All the units have been considered. And that's it. Turn 12 out of 20 complete. We have eight turns remaining after this, and I will be shocked if I get a major victory. <laughs> Quite frankly. Yeah, this is, uh... I think you've had to have... You must have... You must have to play this a few times to be able to grab a major. I don't know... I don't know the enemy's dispositions. You know, I don't know their, where they're placed or what strength they are. I have no, I don't really have any information. All right, let's give him the enemy its turn. I'm just shocked those guys didn't shoot. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh, they're counterattacking. Okay, okay, okay. First, let's deal with this. You, let's check our time. Forty-six. Yeah. You will shoot. That was good. And this is the most the unit that's primed, most primed to be wiped out. Let's see. Shoot. Uh, and then let's have you assault this guy. Goodbye. Fatigue, fatigue. Okay, let's move you here and shoot. Okay. And hmm, five strength of five. Strength of five. All right, let's continue on with the advance. Two spaces. Do I want to go adjacent to a woods hex? Not yet, I don't. Up here. Double time. Up here. Double time. Up here. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's send you up. Come on. Okay. Double time. All right. And now this situation. Hmm. I think leaving two units back here with the headquarters is enough. Let's move the machine gun up. Yeah, we'll put you together. I should have checked for comp company integrity, but... Alright, we'll just try to clean them up and get that headquarters powering out next turn. Yeah. Ah, you know what? I'm going to actually call down some fire support. We're going to pop these guys and assume... Well, hmm. let's go one here. And one here. Yeah. Okay, and now our assault into Winter's Gate Farm. Okay, the first thing to do is to scope out these two hexes. So we're going to use the low on ammo unit and move adjacent. Really? Okay. That's, that's a pretty big deal. That makes me want to delay yet another turn. <laughs> Let's go here and here. Okay, those two hexes must be clear. This one's most certainly not going to be. And we can use the Tem of the Forest to help conceal our approach. Not much, but I'll take whatever I can get. Absolutely. 
All right. And Okay. Next turn. Jeez. I knew that was gonna happen. Down it's just randomly, randomly hitting. Okay. Yeah. Disrupted. It's not good. Oh. This turn. So we will do that right now. Go here. Take the low on ammo unit. Go here. You just need to get the heck out of the. Yeah, you just go up here. And you will. Yeah, I need to defend this town of Newington for another turn. Oh, see, there's mines. Wow. Okay, alright. Uh, we need to sort of get organized here, so let's get you guys up. side of the hill here, or of the elevation, I should say. Okay, you probably would be better off coming back. And machine gun, we really will likely need your firepower elsewhere. Let's get you to the air base. Okay. And now we will definitely attack on this turn. 130 will be up to 180 after we take this objective. Okay, Mr. Low on Ammo, you will lead the assault. <laughs> Good luck. God, it's just like a toll you have to pay. It's kind of silly. God. Alright. All right, let's get him. Okay. Uh, double time with the low on ammo unit. No, we don't need to. Let's circle this guy. And Mr. Engineer. Double time, yeah. Goodbye. Gosh, that's frustrating. 201. 350. Wow, look at that. We'll be up to 350 once we take this place, which would put us at 425. Wow, maybe we can get the major. We only have five, basically five turns left after this turn, though. Hmm. Not sure. I'm going to just keep playing it the way I've been playing it. Ah, you got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 please. One more. We've got to endure one more. Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a mess. We're going to have to take one hit off of these guys next turn, too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we gotta keep moving, so next. Ah, the mortars. Um, you know what? We have some business. Let's bomb. 
Let's put one here, because I think they're going to come in on us, and one here. Next turn. I'm firing. Those are accurate. Those were accurate drops. Nothing got scattered. Huh. Oh, yep. God, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, send them back. Wow, there is a lot. Are you kidding? What is that? Why are there a ton of trucks? Are you kidding me? Good. Alright, he's disrupted. So he's dead. Alright, we'll do this turn. And actually... Hmm. And I really want to finish this. Uh, let's just continue on and see how... How close we can get here. I, if there really are a bunch of trucks lined up, I'm just going to laugh. I really have not, I have no memory of this. And if there was really, if there's, it turns out there's trucks just lined up for pickup SPs, I just, you'll have to take my word that I, I have no idea anything about this scenario. I just was looking at the, the victory and commenting on how tough it looked. <laughs> All right, uh, so the trick is going to be getting a unit open. Oh, I want to close up the location. Oh, no, the location. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. Okay, yeah, I see how we can do this. This is going to take some doing, but it's worth doing. You will go here. Yes, that was the reason. Oh my god! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was lucky. That We are just going to avoid that. We are not going to go near it because, as I recall, AA guns are really... They fire like three times, I think. Let's, um... Let's pull the stats on whatever that is. It's probably a Bofors. Move. Okay, I'll pause and then we'll bring it back. Uh, yo, I'm back. It's a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. And look at this. Range, uh, hex range one, it shoots at a 14. This is devastating. So yeah, we will not go near this position again. And I consider myself lucky for not suffering an SP loss to that. This omits these two hexes from being able to be moved into in terms of surrounding this guy. We're not going to be able to do it, so we're just going to we're just going to shoot at him. And honestly, I just yeah, I want to disengage. How much is a dirt road? Unpaved, 28, doubled, because we're disrupted is 56. Now we're not going to be able to move now, so shoot. Okay, what's the unit with our best chance of success? You. Leader. Shoot this guy. Good, and shoot this guy. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. All right. This guy is going to definitely be shot at whatever's here next turn, so we'll try to take advantage of that right now. Here. Here. Yeah, let's move here. Yeah, we can't even, even we can't even call mortar fire down on this guy because of the friggin' fog. <laughs> All right, I'm going to assume. There's an enemy here, and we'll call at least one fire mission. I'll bite back it up later with a second one. Yeah, 
Uh, we need to replace. You can swap out him. You really need to get up. Get the heck out of here. Orders you stay put and give supply for this turn. Everyone else, move up. I'm gonna laugh if that's if that's the case. If there are trucks lying around everywhere, just for pickup pickup SP. All right, we gotta be careful with this next move. I think we're gonna try to side scrape or, or just you know jog around this objective and hit it. I don't want to go into this road area. I'm worried about mines and other fun stuff. So let's just move around. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, so we'll call down that second fire mission on this potential hex and give the enemy its turn. Some mortars and see where they're coming from. Right out of the hundred, right out of uh, the Hawkins hangars area. Yep. Jeez. Oh my god. What? What is going on? Okay. Oh no. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. Yeah, messed them up good. Dang. Alright, so... Some trucks just dumped. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh god. That's rough. I got pushed back. Look at this guy, he's shredded. That's terrible. Disrupted. Not disrupted, so not disrupted. Okay. And not disrupted. Let's go here. Yeah, we can't see him. That's hilarious. Let's go here. Alright, let's go here. Let's jump it. No, we can't. Alright. Man. Oh, what a bloodbath. Shoot. Alright. Actually, we overloaded this hex. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, let's check for victory. So if we took the hangers area, which is almost vital for the victory, the minor victory. Yeah. If we took the hangers area, we'd be up to 378. Still would be a little far, well, maybe a major victory is possible, but it's gonna be close, the time is running out. Let's shoot this guy. Okay. Okay. Let's check your range. Alright, let's head up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Alright, let's bait some shots with a friggin' machine gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this is interesting. Oh my gosh, what a what a mess. What a friggin' mess. Do we play this game? Fatigued. Yeah, fatigued unit. <laughs> You're gonna 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, we're gonna eat it, I right know. Oh, God, jeez. Oh, it's just, it's almost laughable. We're, we're gonna have to approach this in air, this position using the enemy trenches. We're gonna have to break through. Oh, God, this is frustrating. Yeah, let's move here. Oh, overload this hex. Oh, we'll, uh, yeah. We'll delay a turn. God. Oh, my God. We're going to lose, like, three more SP. This is crazy. How many have we lost? Oh, my God. Nine. How on earth are we going to make it through the rest of the campaign? Um, I don't know. I've never, this is insane. Like, if you're joining me for the first time, I am not used to losing this much SP from core units in this manner on the first freaking mission of a campaign. Boy, that is, that is bad. Oh my god, alright. Let's give them, they're gonna eat up at least two more, I think. This turn. Oh, come on. <laughs> That was lucky. That was lucky. Okay, that was pretty lucky down there. Alright, I'm cool with that. Yeah, we're just shooting them off. Now, how on earth did that happen? Oh my gosh. I am freaking out right now. <sighs> okay, this is a doozy. So bashed. Let's just move him here. 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 Move you. Here. here. And overstack. Move to overstack. And I just noticed they took my. <laughs> They took it back. Oh, brother. Okay. <laughs> God. Well, we're going to have to turn around and go get it. Let's see, 18, 19. Yeah, we'll just barely get it back. Okay. All right. Uh, so that AA gun is got to be toast. Let's shoot this guy first. Come on. There we go. Shoot him up. Disrupted. Good enough. Not good enough. Boost his morale. Alright, I'm gonna overstuff this hex. This is a risk, but we don't have time. We need to get somebody into the hangars. So we gotta try. Oh, yes. Okay. Boy, what a what a bloodbath. What a friggin' bloodbath. And I know I'm over the hour, but I just thought this would this is just so interesting. Um that we just can't you can't not look away type of thing. I gotta finish this thing. Okay, give the end turn. Oh, some more. 
mortars up here. Is that a mortar that took that unit down? Good, disrupted. We are totally just gonna run away from this guy. Our mortars next turn. have actually oh no no that's because we yeah okay so we're in like 200 plus if we take that back yep so we're gonna take all of these objectives now first let's move here okay. Kai still disrupted not good oh god this is this is rough Let's double time. Ah, jeez. Let's go traipsing across the airfield and see what we can find. Wow. Okay, I'll get that. Nice! Cut him in half. Nice, hit him again. when we take this so it's up to these it's up to these guys really you know what I'm feeling ballsy let's let's try to hit him all right that was probably the wrong move <laughs> oh god all right let's uh, we're gonna go for the more valuable mission objective first five Six, six, three. Okay. You'll go here. Wow. Okay, we definitely want to shoot this guy. Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice hit. Nice hit. Let's, uh,. Let's get you up here. Okay. Yeah, let's take that. Excellent. 448. Oh, 50 more to go. I think we're going to get the major. Wow. And we need some luck here with this mortar plus section, though. That was a dumb move. Dumb move, Ryan. Okay, we need to get back over to that objective. Yeah. Yep, it'll take, it'll, we got two turns to take it back, we should be okay. So really everyone just needs to sit pretty. And we need to do a little more damage and take this objective back, and then we have it. Let's cycle through. Okay, end the turn. Oh no! Oh god, just a retreat. There's mortars up there. There's definitely mortars in here. Huh, and they left us alone. Shoot up! Oh, come on! No, I don't... I don't know what happened. With all these... Where are all these trucks? Alright, let's head in and see what's waiting for us. Orders. Yep. Disrupted. Assault. Right. Let's tear these guys apart next turn. 
498. We are 2 SP away, and we will get that right now. Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, and then everybody hold. We're gonna hold a. Please take this. We are all going to stand fast. Even you. Okay. Give the enemy its turn. Boy, this was a... I have never... Oh no! Oh my gosh! No way! Look at all these units! Oh, come on, hold, hold fast, hold fast. Their, this is their last turn. Everyone's disrupted. I hate to do this because they're going to call down artillery, but we got to move in here. Try to get some points. Yeah. Oh, we can shoot again. Nice. Okay, uh, we did the best we could. I. I don't know what else to do. Oh, uh, you can run away, for sure. Let's just get you out of here. Oh my god! <sighs> oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, here's it for, for all the marbles. Oh, I forgot to... Oh my gosh. I forgot to shoot that guy. Dang. Alright, I think we're gonna hold on to it. Oh my god, two more SP on the last turn. What a disaster. <laughs> Judah. And they try and they fail. Oh my god. That is the most intense scenario I've ever played, and I am very worried about... Oh, I'm very worried about the... Uh, this was totally an unnecessary SP loss. That was a real... I need to just uh, stay true to not playing more than an hour, because the blood gets going and I make little mistakes. But, wow. What... Axis SP losses, 12. 12. All personal SP losses. Are we gonna get 12 to replace, or is this gonna be, is this gonna be, let's find out. Seven, oh my god. I should have been 11. I should not have taken that last one. All right, let's, one. Six, seven, spread it out. Okay, uh, I will do the scenario analysis for this scenario in the next uh, uh, mission, including reading, or in the next video, including reading the, the scenario and doing the map overview and all that other stuff. So, thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.